So yeah. we have Justin Waller. I'm going to come up with a new nickname, the Suited Simp in a V-neck. Um, he gets on this whatever podcast, and he gets – apparently he gets slapped down by a woman, and that's, like, against his entire brand. Like, his brand is, I'm an alpha dog. Give me money. Like me. Give me attention. You know, I got daddy problems, and so I want attention from men and women. Really, he wants attention from men, and that's what women do with daddy problems. So I'm going to assume his dad was an alcoholic. My dad beat my mother, but I rose up. That kind of stupid-ass background story. But he's strong, baby. He's strong. Yeah, he's so strong, and he just wants attention and validation because he says he's rich, right? So let's assume he's rich. Why are you out here talking to a bunch of thoughts saying that you're the biggest alpha dog? Huh? Bro, is he is he sitting on that guy's lap? It looks like. It because looks, that fucking guy, that guy says that he's a devout Christian, the one in the white. It looks is he like he's on bouncing his fucking him, lap? Looks like he's bouncing him on one knee like a kid. It's like, don't worry, you're the biggest alpha here. He's like, man, I'm your alpha. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm Rocky. Looks, fed up, you see? I gotta, I gotta, up. I gotta make it bigger, bro. We can't make fun of him and not have people really see. Look at this dude. It he looks like he's on, sitting on his fucking lap, man. Bounce on my knee like a kid. I want a red pill if I do good. It's just like you're not truly masculine unless you can get knee bounced by another man. You see? Oh my gosh! Yeah, allegedly he's rich. And here's the thing about dudes like this saying they're rich: either they're actually rich and they got daddy problems, and then they'd be validated by whores and simp's online, or they're not rich. And they need to put up a uh, facade of who they are so they can get hundreds of dollars per hour from lonely simps and whores online. What does Either rich way. mean anyways? What does that mean anyways? How many guys have we seen come through this sphere that are still here that have kind of dipped their toe in it a little bit but ain't doing nothing? Yep. I'm retired at 33. You know, bullshit simp set. All of these guys. <laughs> and there's, they still talk about how much money they got, this, that. But they're still suckers. They're still simps. You won't Rich find doesn't it. mean shit. Look, once Chronic gets FU money, you're not going to find me talking about how I'm so fucking rich all the time, asking for course donations and shit. No, no, no. I'm literally going to buy billboards, and I'm just going <laughs> to say Puniti. That's all I was going to say, Puniti. It'd <laughs> <laughs> be fantastic. It's all blacked out, just big white yeah. letters, People Puniti. Just like, what? Yeah. Like, what is, or, you know, it's just like, have you seen this zinc slurper in a picture of Jack Murphy? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that fuck bag has started up another business, man. I'm not going on podcasts being like, I'm so rich. Dude, if you're so rich, why are you wearing a deep V-neck and a suit jacket? What's up with that? The suit doesn't look like it fits either, man. Why is this guy always dressing like, you know, the apocalypse is about to happen, but he's never been outside anyhow? I don't get that either. Brian. Old Brian there. Yeah, I don't go go back to your Fox News shtick, bro. This whole whatever podcast has been whatever. It's just, it's just the, whatever podcast is fronted, right? Of course it's fronted. Give me a fucking break. If if anybody does the breakdown on it and starts to follow the money, you'll find out that it's being paid for. Oh, of course. How do you make this much? Here's another question. How do you make this much money and have such a small effing table, bro? What's up with that? Get yeah, get a big least, table. At least them fucking Miami frauds have a big table, man. These guys right here, it's like you got to it's look fucking Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. You can pick who Snow White is because I can't tell. Um, Snow White's uh, Brian's water glass because they actually are so cheap they reuse the same water glasses. You know, five. You know, there's been at least five lawsuits from previous guests catching oral chlamydia from the reused water cups, bro. It's a disaster. Seriously. Now, what's Are you serious? For? Okay. No, no, I'm fucking. No, I'm just fucking. Okay. With uh, you uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Harry's like, is that a legit thing? That could be. No, nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> Let's start. Let's start. Dude, I would love to go to this podcast, just rip the nastiest fart of my life, and then just leave. <laughs> just 10 minutes and go, oh. Fucking oh, dank go. green cloud in there. Yep. Justin, do you ever see yourself getting married? No, not on paper. No, absolutely not. I believe in love and marriage and in, in regards to taking care of a woman fully and, and your responsibilities as a father and a provider and protector mm-hmm. 100%. In fact, I think that's probably what's broken about the world. How are you going to have serious discussions about marriage and love in front of women that look like this? He's saying that he believes in his own disposability. He's like, I believe in marriage, but not on paper. Riddle me right. this. So then you, Do don't, you, you, you don't believe in marriage. Then. It's just like, riddle me this. Do you know what common law means? 
<laughs> can, right. You can have a private religious ceremony and she could yeah. stay at home and give you three kids. All she has to do is go to the cops now and look say, at these. my husband did this. Look at I, these hoes. Look at ooh. them. Look at them. The, are, are, are you talking to a table, a table full of slam pigs? That are trying to talk about, oh, wife me up, Jay Waller. What the fuck? These people don't know what a wife is. Let's assess. Let's assess this. Um, she thinks she's blessed because she has C cups. That's pretty much the only thing. You know, I don't know what's up with the fit. Yeah, the, okay. This one is, I'm a skinny blonde girl. Give me the world. This one is, um, the women from my country are getting passport bros. So when I come to America, I get like, you know, <laughs> tons of American simps. All this right. one actually, this one caused the 2004 tsunami when she tripped during a softball game. So I mean, this really, you, you gotta send this one to Interpol. Fucking tits McGee. Yeah, I don't know why I'm here. I'm just gonna dress this way. This one, um, again, you just tell by her facial expression. She's like, I'm a skinny blonde girl. I, I'm owned the world. Although she looks like she's fake blonde. Whatever. Is that Gorlock's it, little sister? This one. Yeah. I don't know. It might be Gorlock's pinky toe. I mean that humongous motherfucker. But she might be respectable. She might say something respectable. Mm. And this one, I I hate these outfits, bro. You have to be like, as a it's chick, kind of you got to be like 21, 22 percent body fat or lower to rock this. Like, you would be much more attractive wearing any of these other outfits than this thing because it's just a flat board. Like, what? Am I, what are we supposed to do after we bang? I'm gonna use your flat stomach as a charcuterie board. No lines, no, no nothing. No. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's okay, my stop. assessment of this. That's my assessment of this. But in regards to letting the state get into all my businesses that took me over a decade to build, absolutely not, no. Oh, oh no, son. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not the state that's going to get into your businesses that took you a decade to build, son. It's going to be the bitch that is walking away from you mm -hmm. getting into your business. The state's the, just a weapon. That's it. The state is a loaded gun. And then the state hands a bitch a loaded gun every single time they become involved with a man. He has, and he that's has all. These How many of these fucking guys do this? How many of these guys ever mention this? He, he has all these businesses and all this money. Let's say he's worth fifty million, and he gets, he gets. Um, <clears throat> he probably thinks this is the hottest one. He gets Becky, who's not a B cup, pregnant. <laughs> Becky, right? <laughs> Three kids, and it doesn't work out five years down the line because she's cheating on him. They never got married. It, it wasn't on paper. Do you think those businesses will stay safe when she demands fifty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars a month for child support? Oh no, they're they're done. They're over. The cops will assess. The court will assess how all these businesses you have. And I would love to be there when they find out that like eight of the ten businesses he brags about are just shell companies. And yeah, they're front anything. companies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, because you know that's what's going on with a lot of these guys. When they say that they're rich and they've got X amount of dollars, man, they're talking about equity. They're not talking about actual physical dollars. Yep. But he'll have to sell them off to pay for her child support. But you know, again, I'm I'm an alpha. He he listened to just enough Red Bull content. Don't get married. To he thinks he's and he got he got he's I'm not sure how many fans or subs he has, but he thinks people listen to him because he's just so uniquely intelligent. No, you just copied what smarter men were talking about, and you didn't fully understand it either. I've seen this guy and guys like him get on shows like this and run their mouth about the benefits of a prenuptial agreement. I want you to ask Tyrese Gibson how valuable a prenuptial agreement is right now. I mean, look, a prenup is like, mm, it's like a backup parachute. If you need a, if you need your backup parachute, bro, <laughs> good luck. Yeah, one that does not deploy. Yeah. Because right now, see, the thing with the prenup is anything can be challenged, right? Now, is the prenup rock solid? It's unbreakable. Well, maybe, may, possibly. But the deal that with Tyrese here is that he's a million dollars in lawyer's fees already, man. In three fucking years, he's been soaked for a million dollars for lawyers trying to crack the prenup. So Question, you might not what, break the prenup, but you'll break the bank account. Question, Hammerhand. Um, Sir? Do judges convict men and send them to jail for smoking marijuana? <laughs> I, yes. I guess it depends on the yeah. judge and, and the kind of person. But, but yes. yes, they do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do judges convict and send men to jail 
for seeing their kids? Yes. yes. Do judges convict and throw men in jail for owning firearms? Yes. But that's all those two things are against the Constitution, the laws of founding of this country. That's right. So if it's not – if laws don't matter and it's just up to the judge, do you think your rock-solid prenup is going to have more standing than the Second Amendment? No. Uh, the, see, the thing that people don't really understand when it comes to issues like this is just because you have a constitution, a bill of rights, and you have constitutional amendments, it doesn't mean that the powers that be can't infringe on those and fucking ruin you for years and years and years. Look, p most people don't know this, but I'm going to tell you this. You don't have to pay Social Security. You don't have to have a driver's license. You don't have to have a tag. You don't have to have a sticker. You don't have to have insurance because all of those things are infringements upon guaranteed rights, the right to free travel. It's already been settled. It's done and over. But the states do it anyways because nobody speaks their language. You see, and nobody's willing to go to jail to prove the point that you There's, don't need those things. They, the laws on the book are used against you, Correct. Man, you, young man. Correct. I just saw a 16-year-old girl go to her sugar daddy and stab him in the head and get one year in jail. One year probation in jail. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, come at me when a 16-year-old black male stabs an old white lady in the head and gets one year in jail. Tell me when that happens. It won't. It never happened. Let's continue. How do you think you're going to get to the place of that marriage you want with that family and that lifelong love that you just I didn't about? say I didn't have family or children. I just oh, said I'm running your business. Oh, I see. Okay. So. Do you see how defensive the simp gets? Mm -hmm. You're talking about marriage and family and love. And then when he when she asks how are you going to get there, he's like, that's none of your business. <laughs> you're on the you show. Went on a, you went on a fucking podcast <laughs> to talk about this dumbass. <laughs> You know who else had this reaction? No. Lauren Southern, when I asked about her family? Oh, well, yeah, that's true. I mean, when we were going in on her, we were basically telling we were told we were telling her about her, and no the whole fucking world didn't know it. And she was she had to bring on Destiny to run cover for her. Ch uh, when, that, when I was talking about single mothers and bastards. Yeah. yeah Chud you Logic know that, that was had striking very, her in the fucking heart, bro. Chud Logic had the same kind of aggressive what, what the fuck? You don't want to talk about my family. Don't talk about family. We're talking about single mothers. What fucking family? You ain't got a family, homie. Nope. You're so renting not. your kids. He, he's trying to be intimidating. And like, look, she knows he's full of shit. She she knows he won't do shit. All he has is his words. And his words prove him to be an idiot. So what are you going to do, bro? What are you going to do? Nothing. You do absolutely nothing. <laughs> My family isn't your business. But everybody's like family is yours business. Like, come on, dumbass. He's got a turtle head poking, man. He's uncomfortable. So you, you want to keep it private is what you're saying. That's yeah. what I said. I understand. Do you, Justin you has might, enemies. I might have multiple family. <laughs> oh, you don't, you don't have multiple families. I mean, there might be multiple men involved in the genetic donations of what you consider your family. That could be a thing. Who wants to put money on this guy getting uncovered as a cuck? Oh, he does look the type, doesn't he? Who wants to put money on that? Oh, I don't. I ain't taking that fucking bet. I'm just saying. Does he have a YouTube he, channel? I got to find out if he has a channel if he streams, because I will raid the shit out of that. He'll get uncovered at some point in time, <laughs> literally and figuratively. He'll I get might uncovered. have a, a lot of families. It's like me going on a show. Be like, they was like, how long is your penis on that chronic? I'm like, I might have a lot of penises. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Shut up, dude. Which one are we talking about, <laughs> baby? <laughs> Shut up, man. This is okay. You never know. I might like family more than you. So much I have five. Do you think that's a good thing to have multiple families? I think. You see how she, he's like trying to like, he like, he like, grit. wait, let's just look at this. Look at his face. The facial expression he makes has got to be one of the most feminine fucking. You know, I might wait. like family more than you. So much I have five. Do you, you see that? Yeah. Little squint. Who does that? Women. Women in beta males, bro. And <laughs> yeah. I might have five. He like cheeses for the camera. This isn't middle school picture day, bitch. 
<laughs> Try to have a conversation. I, I might have five. <laughs> was there any? Uh, have you watched this whole thing? No, I, I haven't. <laughs> Just the first time. I was going to say, is there any kind of context between these two? Because he seems really uncomfortable. Well, this is a. I think she's supposedly traditional. Ah, uh, and so he feels a need to out alpha the trad woman because he's like, I'm better than trads. Why well, are you better than trads? Yeah, you're not better than trads. He's not, you're not better than street trash. I mean, if you're sticking your dick in multiple bitches, if you're not committing to them, if you're fathering kids out of wedlock, you've got problems. You know, he can't, he obviously he's not a very moral man, not very ethical. He can't control his biology. He's got real problems. Found his channel. Uh oh. Dude. Uh oh. He has 360,000 subscribers. That's just from showing up on other people's podcasts. My man. His That's top what that viewed is. video in the past two weeks. Show it. Yeah. 12,000 people. Watch yeah. It. Well, Chaz has got, four, <laughs> Ch Chaz got 40. Chaz literally got like 50, 60 K views right now on a video about a thought in an anime. Right. <laughs> so, That's Waller, fucking amazing. So Jay Waller, I'm going to sub to you with the under chronic channel. Uh -oh. I'm going to put notifications on uh -oh. and I'm going to wait like a Nile crocodile for your little Impala ass to try to jump across the river and do a live stream. And I oh, will start man. a stream as soon as you start streaming. And oh, I will man. raid the shit out of it. <laughs> you know what's annoying to me, too, about this, uh, where you've got this stopped right here, is Mr. White Shirt, traditional con con Christian fella right here. You see him? Yep. And that smug fucking look that he's got, that's not very Christian-like, my man. Maybe it's just, just like, an, to what's maybe going it's like on. an awkward smile. Cause like, what are you going to do? I guess look, this dude, this dude has the entire shaft wrapped up in his booty cheeks. Like you don't want to get him some, angry. <laughs> look, he is too close to this motherfucker to be sitting on his own chair. I'm uh, just, this is creepy. He's going to pull out a Gerber's applesauce and be like, calm down. It's okay. <laughs> he's bouncing <laughs> it like a toddler. <laughs> but like, okay, this, this supposed alpha giga Chad is going to confronted by a trad woman. And he's going to lose it. So let's continue. Do you think that's a good thing to have multiple families? I think it's good if there's one dad and there's not a bunch of step parents involved and, and the dad can be the hero and those five families live a 10x better life than they would have otherwise. Yes, ma'am, I do. Facts. But you don't think that it will be ultimately a, 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 an opportunity for jealousy or disharmony amongst women are always going to be jealous. What, what, what's changing? The downfall, us. The downfall of many a Chinese dynasty some of the most powerful, um, by proportionality-wise, some of the most powerful men to have ever existed. I'm talking about being viewed as a god by mm -hmm. 100 million people, more, less, so like that. Yeah. Absolute authority. Multiple of their downfalls were they'd had multiple wives with multiple children, and they would connive and plan against each other because they wanted their son to ascend the throne, and the dad would end up with multiple daggers in his back. Saying that polygamy is a is a, a valuable relationship goal. Yikes. All, all it really does, in my opinion, is ensure the fact that your offspring are going to consume you alive. Yep. That's, what, that's all it really does. But the thing that concerns me about what he said there was being a hero. That, he that's needs in to his be, personality. He needs to be a hero. He has a messiah complex. Well, uh, let me look at him. Obviously, he does. And you know what? In, in ancient China, polygamy wasn't really a huge deal. It was just the super rich and nobles that would do it. But society-wise, like across all types of families and economic statuses, do you know what increases from scientific studies? Multiple biologists, psychologists, criminologists, they all found the same finding. What increases when polygamy increases in a society? Disharmony, violence. Yeah, violence. Who does yeah. the violence? Discord. Yeah, it, it's not. It's not the. It's the, the simps vying. It's for not the, the giga chads right here with like five wives. No, no. Yeah, it's the young men that are like, you know what? This guy might have a nice ten thousand dollars suit top, but we got five butter knives and a lot of anger. Yeah, well, you know, all of your money doesn't stop you when a murder squad shows up. No, nope. it, it, it's you're finished. It's over. Before we continue, Hammer, let me just direct your gaze to one more element of this. Oh, yes, sir. Look at this side profile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> well, look at the girl with the pointy hat in the back. She looks like she's a waifu, man. <laughs> I think she's just trying to get with him. I think I don't know what the deal is. She she's always just sitting in the back quiet. But let's continue. I'm about not jealous that. Women have been marriage. jealous all the way through time. So. I'm not jealous in my marriage. Well, I don't care about your marriage. I'm talking about mine. I thought you said it was a private matter. You just said all women get jealous. And she well, says, well, I don't get jealous. He's like, I don't care if you don't get jealous. I'm talking about my woman. So maybe it's the woman you're going after. This is a very strange dynamic here between him and her. It's like something has happened prior to this clip coming on. It's just very strange. He's never, is he normally this adversarial? He, he normally doesn't get confronted about anything. I see. Like he, He's a very soft boiled egg. So he has to be right. And if so he's not first, right, then the he's The first exploded. time someone confronts him and a woman at that, he can't take it. So are you talking about everybody or are you talking about your family? No, just Waller there. Just Waller. No, I'm, not, I'm, talking, I'm saying, is Waller talking about everybody or oh. just his family? Yeah. Or we don't know if he has a family because, again, it's a private matter. But yeah, he's then again, he's saying, there. like, I'm talking about it. So this is just the simp starting to get nervous. You see, and he gets redder and redder and redder. The more she confronts him, you know what? Maybe because single daddy household, most likely, maybe she reminds him of his domineering mother, and he's like a mixture of rage and sexual attraction. He's just gonna get red, 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 red. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, maybe he's a look. I, I hate to read too deep into it. Maybe he's attracted to her. Oh, he definitely is. Oh, no, definitely. You know, maybe he's attracted to her. So you know how you were when you were like uh, on the first and second grade playground. Uh, the girl that you liked, you'd run up in soccer. <laughs> I mean, I never really, I, know, I never, I didn't just for clarity. Uh, like I didn't ever, but... ever hand out here clobbering women. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. My life is going to be, so I don't answer to you. So that's my answer. I'm going to run my, my situation exactly how I want to. And generally when I do that, that's when I have the most happiness, let's say in my life. So that's all. And you would want that for your daughters? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I live my life unapologetically on my terms. So if my daughters that are overly spoiled and, and educated in every way and have friends all over the world and world traveled in the best schools in the world, if they have a problem with me at the end of the day, then they can kick rocks too. I Bro, he's just said his daughters are going to be turbos, international salutes. Yeah. And if his daughters disagree with anything he does, they can kick rocks. I don't think this guy's capable of loving his children. Well, he, he is a lot like the women that are on the opposite side of the table there. Yep. He says father and hero all day long, but he doesn't know He's what no a father and hero it. is. He has no he idea has what no a idea. father is. No, he doesn't, he doesn't know at all. All of this is very, very selfish. He's, you know, he's, gonna, he's, he's checking a box when he when he has babies and he yep. gets married and whatever. Yep. He's just checking a box. He's going to pay five hookers to give him five kids and feel like he could get Chad. And then OD on Coke one day. And those five bastards, you know where they're going to end up? They're going to end up on the next Fresh and Fit show donating, asking for masculine advice. Yeah, man, can you believe it? My dad was Jay Waller. Arr, 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 arr. Oh. <laughs> and they lampoon their own fucking dad. That's, that's where this is headed, man. I think the deal is like he's just... He's just so full of shit, so full of lies. He needs to keep up this pretentious lie that he's on top of the world and everything. Bro, if you're on top of the world, why is a woman asking you questions getting you so triggered? Let me let me let me say something about that. If you're on top of the world and you're this guy for real, you're not on a podcast with whores. You're just not. Like you're just Unless not. you're having a good time and laughing, and this is like entertainment for you. But he's so serious about this whole thing. Like I couldn't, I couldn't sit down and seriously talk about anything in front of a bunch of OnlyFans girls. I'd be like, "So, what's the biggest, <laughs> what what's, the, what's the biggest object you put up there?" <laughs> <laughs> well, you see this microphone here, don't you? Yeah, like, it was like this big, this big, this big. <laughs> I was good to. Well, I mean, what do you talk? What do you talk to people like this about? I mean, you spend hours out of every single day placating thirsty, hungry, depraved men and women. And I want to make that clear. Women buy these fucking things too. You know? So, uh, you know, what are you going to have in common with these people? Nothing. Nothing. Let's 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 let it play for a couple minutes cuz we only <clears throat> cuz I think we've done 20 minutes responding to 2 minutes of the video. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I I'm not going to simp for my daughters. I'll love them fully. Mm -hmm. But if they grow up and turn into a person that doesn't want to get in line with me or at least look, here's my goal as a parent. Teach my children how the world works, 
give them the skills so they can live on their own terms and give them choice. If they choose not to make me part of their life after I've given them those things, I've still succeeded as a father. But I guess I'm asking if you're comfortable answering, obviously, but are you wanting to be a role model for your kids? Is that part a of your A thousand percent. A father should show up in every way for his children. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be better than most fathers, regardless of how many children mm -hmm. I have. I might have a hundred. Dude, he's going to destroy the gene pool of some poor little Asian island. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. <laughs> I I don't understand. I I basic I I just don't understand his entire attitude here. There's something there's something strange going on here, and I we uh, we I clearly we don't know what it is. So if he's normally like this, I don't know how you could watch this. This might be the biggest front for this guy to convince the world he doesn't take it on the DL. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't fucking joking. That might joking, be another boy. option. Let's continue. Well, get on, get on Chatterbait and Murphy that ass. Uh, but so. you think part of being a role model, it's okay for your kids not to know even their your relationship status with their own mom? They will know their relationship but status with me and their mother. But you have other relationships with other women, too. What, what does that have to do with anything? But I'm just wondering if you think I haven't even said that. I'm just saying, like, if I mm -hmm. want to, I will. But you don't think that's a problem for your daughter to know that about their dad? That, that he has multiple mistresses? That's up to my daughter, man. You know. But do Can you, you want stop your daughter? Okay, so what did he just admit to you guys? You guys in the chat are pretty fucking smart. Doesn't your your kids. host here is pretty smart. What did he admit to you? I think he just said he doesn't have kids right now. Well, he also said that he has no qualms about going outside of the bounds of marriage. So why get married? Well, well what's on the paper, point in marriage? I'm going to love them and live with them and subject myself to the government, but on a paper hammer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he just said that he just told you he has no obligation towards honor. He has no obligation towards morals or ethics or values or principles. He clearly cannot control his own biology. So he has constructed a reality to suit what he is. You know, kudos. Bravo to that. But I don't think most people are like that. I had a similar situation. I was on these podcasts and they said, you know, like, so do you smoke crack? I'm like, well, I don't smoke crack on paper. Okay, <laughs> I smoke it out of a pipe, and then this this bra was saying, "What do you think your daughter's going to think about them?" I'm like, look, I'm going to train my daughter, give her the skills. I'm going to show her exactly how much rock to put in the pipe. I'm going to show her the right kind of lighters to use. I'm going to tell her the places, the Seven Elevens, the cops don't go by. And if she doesn't want me in my life after that, that's on her. I'm going to live my life on my terms because smoking crack makes me happy. That's what this dude sounds like. That's what he just said. Like, banging hoes makes you it gives you a fulfilled life. Like, it's just so pathetic, man. This is uh this is Andrew Tate Light. <laughs> you know, I, I wonder if he fu if he fucks Troons too. Oh, hammer, 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 hammer! Oh, bro, I, I thought that was safe. Wasn't uh, that safe? Was, no, no, you know, <laughs> probably not. Probably not. <laughs> but let's, that was safe. let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> Have a guy like that long term. If he takes care of her in every way and she has a much better life because of it, yeah, I'm cool with that. Wait, do you want to have a hundred kids? So like low key I'm, gonna I'm gonna have a bunch of kids. Yeah, yeah. I, be I believe in having kids, man. So there's there's two. I'm gonna have a bunch of kids. How uh, old are you, Boomer Boy? Yeah, I've 43? got something to say about that, man. Forty <laughs> five. Like, he believes he? in having a bunch of kids and not being there. You know that you, this guy's not gonna be there. You know what's um. The older a man is when he sires a child more likely the child's going to have autism or down syndrome. That's the thing. Well, starting after 38. So you haven't had kids yet. You want a hundred kids. You can have kids until you're 60. I need to find out whatever little Asian village or South American village or projects he's picking up these hookers from and invest in like special needs centers and programs. Cause I'm going to have my entire special needs training center filled with this dude's bastards i'm gonna make a killing off of him and he's not gonna be able to afford it but the government will match it so i'm gonna make a killing off of him in the government a bunch of spurglings running around jesus christ you ain't kidding let's continue too many dumbass people having kids might as well have a small <laughs> <laughs> there's too many dumbass people having kids he's look i can't, I can't disagree with it but you know he's one of them he's literally one of them <laughs> Oh, it's funny. It's so funny. Let's, let's continue. Smart person, have some. Dude, is Justin Loki about seed. to repopulate the world? Kids Spread are awesome. Seed. Is, ju is Justin? Yeah, is Justin Why are you simping for this guy? What, what, uh, I don't know. Like, I guess, okay. So in my experience, Hammerhand, weak men, even if they disagree with you or disagree with a strong man, they'll like always try to be buddy-buddy with them. 
to diffuse the tension. Can you hear me, Hammer? Yeah, I got you. And, like, this dude's a supposedly traditional Christian. He's, like, making jokes about this guy having, like, hundreds of kids. I'm like, how about you stand up for your values? Like, don't act buddy-buddy with a whoremonger with a sex he addict. Doesn't, he doesn't know what his values are. Ugh. Except to come on there and flash a fucking cross and uh, you know, I'm like, I'm a cr- traditional Christian and I got values and it doesn't mean nothing. I'm on this show. I say some ridiculous shit. He goes, is Undead Chronic going to smoke all the crack and solve the crack epidemic? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to suck it all up. <sighs> they call me vacuum nose in college, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I melt my teeth in one take. <laughs> Let's continue. Single-handedly. Single-handedly reverse the declining birth they got, rates. They got all these single women out here talking shit about shit, man. Well, cool. I'll have babies with you. What's up? <laughs> wow. Just the way he talks. You know what? Yeah. This is what happens when the Wigga wins a lottery, bro. You're when a right. Wigga wins a lottery and listens to You're one right. Andrew Tate video, this is the kind of motherfucker <laughs> you get. <laughs> hey, if, this dude, <laughs> if this dude tried to date my daughter... And he just <laughs> spoke like that. I'm taking the assault charge for breaking his nose. Like I, it's no. gonna, it's gonna be a shotgun kind of day. No, no. Like it's just just the way he talks. Like I can't I can't even take him seriously the way he talks. Who enters into business with people that talk like that? Answer just nobody. A, a very brief uh, perusing of Justin Waller here, and it appears that his his net worth comes from uh, high profile money. contracts from the construction company that he is either heading or dealing with. Mm. So it's basically equity money. Basically. Mm. So that's, that's pretty interesting. You know, you know how you can have a shell company that's worth a hundred billion dollars, you know, sort of like uh, FTX. And at the end of the day, there's nothing in it. So uh, are you saying all someone has to do if they listen to his misogyny is find out in what places his company has the licenses to get contracts from the government and yep. tell the local woke government officials that he's a misogynist, racist, sexist, and all of his money goes away? I mean, you wow, know. Wow, what a, what a great business plan, Justin Waller. I you, mean, you, you, you know. You have, to, you have to get the respect and you can't get canceled by woke people and you go onto podcasts and say this kind of shit. Wow, you're you're such big brained. I'm so happy smart people like you were gonna have a lot of kids. <laughs> it's just stupid as shit, bro. There's got to be his look, he's gotta be sitting on his own nuts or something to be this weirded out and uncomfortable. <laughs> Something's going on here. This just doesn't seem right. This this doesn't seem right. He probably has to bang the fat county clerks to get contracts. Oh, bro. And he's like closes his eyes and says he's an alpha when he does it. That's bad. <sighs> gross That's she's just like, he, are you, he, she's he, like are you in yet he's like am i in yet and he's just been banging the same fat fold for two hours oh. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> anything for business right <laughs> just i thought like, it was lubrication it was uh, yeast uh, let's continue <laughs> now part of it is being a smart ass right now right mm-hmm. to be honest but I, look if if a guy decides to have a bunch of children i mean you see it happen all the time guy gets married had, he's a shitty father, shitty husband, ends up getting a divorce, and then goes have and has babies with the next chick, doing the same thing I'm doing, except I'm not a lying coward about it. I hear you. So, I, 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 I'm not a lying what, coward about it. What the fuck does that mean? Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. See, at least I don't lie and tell people this is actually DMT I'm smoking. No, I'm I'm not a lying coward about it. This is straight grade A crack rock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. Like just, I don't wait. What? Give me somebody to die methyl, man, right now. Like what? It's just I don't. Let's continue. I see that. I see that. But I think the big question is, I mean, it seems like you're really focused on self improvement, which is awesome. And so I guess my question would be, is it ideal? Like, what are we striving towards individually, right? And what do we think is best for society? And I think kids want to know their parents love each other and are committed till death do they part to each other. Yep. Didn't say any of that wasn't true. But you're it, the but one you, saying that's not true. Okay, but yeah, do you think it would? Did not me, they you. Did. He just, he just, he just spent the last five minutes saying that. And notice how this chick's just asking calm. She's, she's talking like chronic talks in the way that you just ask yeah. calm questions. Yeah, I got to give it to her. She's actually not coming apart at the fucking seams. So yeah, I like this guy. This guy is just like not me, you. <laughs> it's like what? It's just like you're the one doing it. It's like 
She's just asked you questions, dumbass. You Absolutely. don't know anything about what she believes because you haven't asked her a single question. You're on the defensive. Hey, when you're uh, when you're done with this segment, man, hit your private chat and grab that link. I want to see what you think about that one. Okay, uh, let's let's just listen to another minute or two, and then we'll we'll stop it with this video. Be a little bit um, confusing for one of your kids if they found out. Let's say theoretically, no, because if they trust have... me enough to come to me, I'll just tell them the truth. What are we talking about? I'm not hiding from anything. I just told you. I, I understand that. It so seems like you're challenging it because you have a problem with it. I simply don't care. So your, your, your kids, you're saying you don't care if they find out you have multiple mistresses. If I had multiple women mother. and then my kids came to me, then I would just talk to them like a, like an adult. If they're adult enough to ask, I'm adult enough to tell old, them. Though. Well, whatever they ask, I'm there for. You know, that's it. Find somebody else. I don't feel bad. I'm going to live in truth. You don't feel bad because you have a messiah complex. This you know, a, you know who else doesn't feel bad. My uh, ho- my home my homeboy, <laughs> Peaches, who I met while smoking crack rock. Who right now is in front of the he's right now he's in front of the Capital One Bank building, taking a hot steamy diarrhea poop on the steps. He don't feel bad at all because he lives in his truth. I don't know why it's so watery. Oh, <laughs> I think Chronic sold me laxatives instead of crack rock again. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy this guy holy shit See, i've never watched more than a minute of this fella speak just long enough to pick something out and make fun of him this this i can't believe that people take this seriously people do i can't believe it i, I look as a as a privileged white collar man who is the son of a white collar white man who grew up very privileged Y'all think y'all think I think bad of black people? You should see what I think about wiggas. I can't stand them. No offense, Hammerhand. I can't no, stand them. Why well, am I offended? What you call, what you saying, bro? What are you saying? <laughs> no, I'm just saying like I'm not saying low <laughs> socioeconomic <laughs> white guys. I'm talking about white dudes that talk like this. <laughs> oh man. Anyhow, that was uh, Justin Waller just coping. And I, oh, I don't need God. to hear anything more of him. 